loves Kojima games? Because I don't. What are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. I'm not gonna lie. I just can't get into his games. I'm not saying they're bad. They're just not for me. But many people are. Whenever you hear about any Kojima project in the works, it automatically becomes the most anticipated game coming out. He reminds me of Christopher Nolan, but for video games. Whenever they work on something, you know it's different, that it's going to have a dope concept, and it's going to garner a lot of attention. Kojima has a crazy cult following. And if Microsoft really is in talks to publish Kojima's next game, it proves that Xbox is trying to convince some Sony fans to switch over. So with that being said, if you want to find out about all the details regarding this, then I highly suggest not clicking off this video. Before we begin though, allow me to give you a friendly reminder to just like this video. And if you end up liking it here at my channel, know that I try to give the best gaming news, rumors, and breakdowns. Other links in the description box below. Thanks guys. According to a report from VentureBeat, the Death Stranding and Metal Gear Solid developer is in talks with Microsoft about publishing his next game. According to a source familiar with the matter, the report also suggests that the potential deal has been in the works for several weeks already stating that Xbox chief Phil Spencer deliberately featured a statue of the Kojima Productions company mascot in the background of a recent stream as a hint towards the partnership. Remember, this is the same thing he did months prior to the reveal of the Xbox Series S. Now, news like Xbox looking into Japanese studios shouldn't come completely as a surprise to you. If it does, that means where you're getting your news from, they ain't doing it right. And that means you should definitely subscribe to my channel. The reason why it shouldn't come as a surprise is because last year there have been rumors that Xbox has been looking for a Japanese studio to acquire. Although Phil Spencer did deny those rumors, things change all the time. Just look at when Xbox increased the price for gold. Xbox sales in Japan have been abysmal compared to Sony's, but Sony is kind of acting complacent right now. According to a past Bloomberg report, anonymous Sony employees stated that the company had begun to focus more on the US after the PlayStation 4 had been disappointing in Japan, which makes this deal more significant now. According to the report today, VentureBeat also mentions that with this deal, Xbox will be able to leverage Japanese talent. One thing that might be evidence of this deal has to do with indie studio Blue Box Games. If you do not know who they are, this is the studio that is making the horror title abandoned. There were rumors that Kojima was behind that game. Blue Box has now come out and officially denied this by saying, we've received several emails regarding this Hideo Kojima rumor. We have no association with Hideo Kojima, nor do we claim to have any association, nor was it our intention to claim such a statement. So if he's not working on that, then what is Kojima working on? Maybe it's the game for Xbox, maybe not. Just remember, these are just talks. Xbox recently has been acting like a fat kid, just trying to eat up everything they can. First, it was the Bethesda deal. Next, it's possibly Discord. And now this Kojima deal. There's no denying that this potential exclusivity offered by a publishing deal with Kojima would be a significant boost for Xbox. This is the same company that has not given fans a new big name exclusive in years. And you know what this deal would do to some PlayStation fans? Like I said, those Kojima groupies will support him even if that means they have to switch over. In conclusion, just like with any Xbox deal nowadays, this will be huge if this Kojima partnership ends up being true. I would really like to see how Sony will retaliate, but this is great for us, the consumers. So in the comment section, if this turns out to be true, if you're on PlayStation and like Kojima games, is this enough for you to switch? Or if you're on Xbox, are you excited about this? Let me know. As always, you already know I'm Ken Wall. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.